Hello everybody, my name is Shadow, and welcome back to Doom Eternal Nightmare Mode 100% Difficulty. We are moving on to the Super Gore Nest. Our system is being corrupted. This game has come far enough. I will have her transmission removed in a moment. Despite the loss of the priests, Earth will fall. And my people will survive. I will answer the humans' prayers. Reward those that believe. This hub was of maker design. She knows the systems well. The final priest will be moved to a more Chair. discreet location, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so our work can continue without further disruption. The third hell priest signal is no longer visible to us. There is a 41.3% increase of demonic activity at the nexus of the initial invasion. That is the largest gore nest on Earth. I will set the portal coordinates for the super gore nest now. Okay. Acquire the ballista. I love the ballista. It lets me do one of the most overpowered broken combos in the game. Ooh, I just forgot something. There was something I did in uh, all my other playthroughs of this game that I think I'm going to skip this time. I used to go back to the Repertorium every time I would come back to the base, but I mean, we'll do that at the end of the series to see how much stuff I've gotten, because honestly, it takes a while, and they just throw in like one or two new demons every time I come back to this base, so we're going to ignore it this time. But what we are not going to ignore is that I have sentinel batteries now, which means I can start unlocking things in the ship. And there is actually some pretty good upgrades because there are two sentinel crystals inside of the Doom Fortress. And these are just the best ever. So I need ammo. So do I want faster demon drop rates? Do I want them to stay on fire longer? I want more armor, that's what I want. <laughs> We're gonna max that. And then let's get the other one. I don't know why we have to do this cutscene every single time we use these, but we do. So that's the thing. And now we have Belch Armor Boost unlocked. Uh, I got three more so we can get one more thing. And tell you what, since we did just get the Ballista, Let's get ourselves a weapon mod bot. Ooh, getting a little bit of FPS struggle here. Not sure why. Come on, computer, I believe in you. So, for the ballista, we can either get the arbalist, which is basically a very large sticky bomb, or the destroyer blade. I'm going to do the Arbalist because it can one-shot a Cacodemon, and it's very strong and very fun to use. It also has one of the most satisfying sounds in the game, just listen to this. Just the charge-up sound, just... Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I don't know how that noise was made, but probably with some kind of guitar and sound magic. Uh, I can upgrade other stuff real quick. Let's finish... No, we got that. Let's upgrade... Actually, let's just upgrade the Arbalist. Let's just make the explosion bigger. Why not? Who cares? <laughs> and I also have more suit upgrades, so I'm going to finish up these. Dash refills on glory kills. And then damage dealt against the frozen demons increase. Sure, why not? And uh, that's it for upgrades right now. 
bit weird there is no broadcast this time, but whatever. I love Super Burn S. It's one of my favorite levels. However, I'm gonna warn you, my computer does not. My computer does kind of struggle on this level because there is uh, a lot more liquid and wet textures like lava and you, know, you can kind of see their reflectiveness on that tentacle there. Anyways, with the elimination of D. Granak, only one Hell Priest remains. As you prepare for the final encounter with the remaining priest, your plans are interrupted by the Khan Maker. In an attempt to ensure the consumption of Earth, she has hidden the priest and accelerated Hell's invasion of the planet. The increased number of demons overflowing from the Super Gore Nest threatens to overtake Earth, gain access to the nest and destroy it before it's too late. You may notice a slight change in the environment. Fear not. It's all part of the plan. Oh, it's so cool. The Super Gore Nest location is nearby. This is the site where the invasion began. The oldest and most corrupted location on the planet. The Ark fought hard, but they were eventually driven out by the demons. This is so cool. Like, there's tentacles coming from the sky. What's going on here? Real quick, one of my challenges. Acquire weapon mod, complete both encounters, perform three different glory kills on pinkies. I'm gonna have to keep that one in mind, so I'm gonna pin the challenge to me, to my screen. Because I will I will forget about it. Yeah, my computer does not like this level. <laughs> The Hell Growth, Part 1. The Hell Growth formations on Earth have undergone great scrutiny by experts of the Allied Nations. These cancer like growths exhibit alarming cellular reproduction rates, outpacing any biological life form previously known. Their structural pattern is chaotic, almost random, with only one identifiable constant the emergence of totem like nests, which, at full maturity, resonate with powerful electromagnetic frequencies capable of producing a form of inverse quantum field. These fields, once activated, result in the fabrication of hell portals, tears in space-time, which serve as gateways between dimensions. And that's what the Super Gornest looks like. It is very gross and disgusting. still alive in here. That was overkill. <laughs> you! A glory kill state. Go into a glory kill state. I want to shoot you with my knife. I know that makes sense. Don't worry about it. <laughs> See? With my knife. I shot him with my knife. Easy. Gee, I really get lag on this level. <laughs>
Health Growth Part 2. The growth exhibits certain predetermined qualities in the consumption of our ecosystem. It creates environmental conditions more conductive for its own continued formation. In effect, employing an organic method of terraformation. The resulting environment is hostile to terrestrial life, producing atmospheric toxins and a multitude of environmental hazards. Although it is understood that the growth accelerates uh, the arrival of demon life on Earth, it is not clear how the growths themselves originated or whether there is some sort of catalyst that created the conditions necessary for their existence. It is believed that if the source of the growths can be identified, there may be a means of uprooting the entire formation. That's gross. Yep. Very gross. <laughs> Uh, let's not do that. How about UAC lady? What do we got? We got micro missiles, destroyer blade, or remote detonate. I think I'm gonna go with remote detonate. I love lock on burst, but remote detonate is also pretty good. I'm really trying to get this headshot challenge done. There are a couple secrets we have, though. That was the same. Yeah. That was the same animation. I need to go from the front next time, not the back. Whatever. That's the one, but I don't want to destroy it yet, because I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, maybe I should, but... This is a good place to get that challenge done, since I don't have enough rockets.
I should have chainsawed those tentacles. I'm just not realizing that. Okay, now I'll destroy it. Wait, I don't even need to destroy it. That's kind of funny. Oh, I'm like, wait, I'm out of ammo for like everything. It's funny, you can go through that entire room and not have to destroy the buff totem. Huh, I didn't know that. There is a secret down here, though, that opens up in one of these chambers. There is a secret encounter down here, I don't remember which room it is. Here it is. Ah! I thought I heard something outside. I just uh, needed to have silence for a quick second. But we got it done, and now we're back here. And But we have the yellow key. Earth is the melting pot of the universe. Yeah, we get another rune. What do I want? Speed boost after glory kill. Longer stagger. Survive a death blow. Shock wave. Equipment. I'm gonna go speed boost. You know what? I think I'm gonna disable Seek and Destroy. Uh, which lets me go farther. Yeah. I'll turn it back on eventually, because that's my playstyle, but who doesn't like more speed? Like, look how fast this is. I need to... <laughs> I'm really not managing my ammo well. I'm not managing my resources that well at all right now. I'm actually kind of panicking too much. Yeah, that was very bad fighting on my behalf. Two more keys will be required to open the passage. Find them. Man, I'm just imaging. I'm managing my ammo so poorly right now. Sometimes evolution needs a little push. Hard. Okay. Ah. 
Ah! Carcass! <laughs> Alright, just for you, buddy. He blocked my glory kill on that pinky. How dare he. I need more ammo. I'm gonna save the blood punch ones for last, because, uh... I don't, I don't think I'm at max health or armor that much. Dang you, carcasses. This is the heart of the nest. It has taken root in this facility's main power generator. Reactivating the generator will destroy the nest. Oh my god, he jumped across that still frozen. Nice. Super Gore Nest. Report file. Red analysis of T. Washington. Lockar follows. Blah, blah, whatever. Following reports of UAC cultist presence at the Lock reactor, recon teams Infil Gamma and Infil Hector attempted to gain entry to Lock and assess the situation. Their final transmission indicated a massive demonic presence entering the reactor facility through continual gates, hell portals. <clears throat> an emergency global council meeting approved an immediate arc response to the situation at the Lock reactor. The assembled coalition strike force concluded four U.S. battle mech divisions, the Conyer... Uh, long-range naval artillery barrage fleet, 27 U.S. Nightbird Apaches, three NATO shock troop div battalions, two Conyer Rapid Response Levi tank divisions, and 18,000 Coalition Special Forces units. The initial bombardment of the LR of the LOC research and the NAB, whatever, uh, was met with immediate response from invasion forces. An estimated 8,000 gargoyles attacked the fleet, sinking 32 vessels and disabling a further 78% of the fleet. The remaining ships retreated to, an, to a position approximately 32 miles offshore beyond the reach of the gargoyles, but also out of artillery range. With the fleet out of action, the battle mechs and Apaches initiated a danger close salvo against the reactor. As shock troops and special forces attempted to rearward infiltration, several platoons made it inside the reactor where the demons had already established a super gore nest. Although gore nests have been reported at various invasion sites, this was the largest so far observed. The nest has been built around the reactor core itself. Several thousand IFF beacons are amassed at the nest location, in suggesting the demons are using our fallen forces as part of their bio-organic continuum gate. At the time of writing, the nest is considered to be the ground zero of the invading force. Unless the continuum gate is destroyed, this analyst sees no way to stem the influx of aggressors. Recommended response, total nuclear annihilation. Report ends. That's also pretty cool, seeing the mechs go up against the demons. Yeah. I hate the car. I hate those guys. I hate the shield guys. <laughs> I hate them so much. It gives me so much joy killing them. Oh, hello. Is that our first empowered demon? Wow, that makes me so fast that... Look at how fast I am. It's... Oh. It honestly, it might be too quick, but I'm gonna keep it on for now. Oh wait, there's a secret down here. Way as well. 
got a revenant. If I feel like I'm kind of skimming by the environment this episode, uh, it's because I have probably played through this level the most um, because of the mastery level. And I will record the mastery levels probably when I'm done with the campaign. But uh, yeah. One thing I want to talk about real quick is you, you can kind of see it here. To the heart chamber. Thank you, Vega. Is this is a very gross level if you stop to think about this. Where did you come from? Hold on. But anyways, when you think about it, this entire area is really gross. It's made out of flesh and gore, literally. Uh, but I think they designed it in such a way that you don't really get grossed out by it. It's just like, ugh, that's cool. But like, they don't make it too visceral. I am sliding on the ground. I was not pressing any buttons when that happened. Yeah, that's just my thoughts. Like, you can see it's disgusting when you think about it. But because there's the lights and it blends into the walls, they do a good job at not making it, like... You don't want to puke looking at it, you know? <laughs> like, I think it could have been very easy to make that too gross. And now we got the chain gun. in a dormant state. Two nearby control terminals will need to be manually activated to restore full power. Unlocking the left terminal room now. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> Ugh. 50% of power has been restored. The second control terminal still requires activation to destroy the nest. Oh, it's so good. Look at how big it's like expanding. I'm unable to open the door to the second terminal at this time. You'll need to find an alternate route. It's so gross. Ask not what we can do for you. Ask what you can do for us. And here's the... M oh, wait. There's different map groups. I forgot. This level is very compact and close together, and I think that's very cool. I love the level design of this, because you kind of can go back and forth between areas very easily without teleporting. Uh, chain gun, mobile turret, or energy shield. Energy shield is more useful, but this one is just so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> it's in 12 barrels. That said, energy shield is one I will use more often. Look at that. Why is the, why is that white? That's supposed to be red, not white. Huh. I guess that's just a bug on the barrels. Uh, it looks cool. It looks really cool. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be orange and red instead of white. Because, you know, it's overheating. Weird. I don't know if that's a bug or not. But I like it. Oh, 
know why it takes so many to do that door. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And yeah, I am really kind of like not looking at the scenery enough this level because, man, it's so cool. I've just played this level way too many times. Yeah, it's so sick. It's wild. The UAC. Your blood sacrifice today. Doom 3, main theme. You can also do ballista jumps. They make you go stupid quick. See new sights, make new friends, soar to new heights. Join the official portal. Uh, don't care, shush. Longer staggering death, shockwave equipment, midair. Let's do equipment. And you know what? I'm actually going to use it, because I feel like the speed boost messes up my aiming. Because <laughs> I'm not used to going that quickly. Also, I'm getting more lag. Uh-oh. Alright, it seems to have corrected itself. <laughs> yeah, good minfian. So, enemies killed by equipment or while under the influence of equipment will decrease the recharge time. This one is actually incredibly useful. I just don't use it. There we go. I do kind of like to tap the machine gun in like a pattern. Oh, I'm out of ammo. What am I doing? <laughs> well, we took each other out, so that's really what matters at the end of the day. I feel like I was just talking about something and I entirely forgot what it was. Yeah, I don't think there's any secrets down here. I mean, there's a portal, but that just leads me back up top. I'm not even sure how effective Equipment Fiend is. Like, I don't notice that much of a difference with it, honestly. Yeah, killed by the Equipment or while under the influence. I mean, it works on all three of them. The grenades and uh, uh, the, 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 the flamethrower. <laughs> Forgot the word. Yeah, I mean, it's helpful. I just don't really like that. I like to use glory kills more than Equipment. I hate whoever designed this section. Should be a secret beneath me, but I will do that in a second. Did 
to those of you who knew this level, I didn't forget about this. I mean, I kind of did, but whatever. <laughs> Mecha Zombie. I call those the Terminators, though. Also, what is that? Why are there cars just spinning around this little totem? It's so weird. That's a cool visual. Oh, it died? What did it die to? Oh well. This is where we get the Slayer Gate key. And this. And now, we do the big fight. See, now it's red. I don't know what that was doing before being white. It's cool either way. Is that it? I think that might be it. We got a secret down here. Infinite ammo. And then... Should be a secret encounter. Also, really quick, I want to point out something kind of satisfying. In the top middle of my screen, I have four keys, and there's just something about having that many things up there that's just very satisfying to me. But there is a secret encounter uh, here on the Super Gore Nest, and I think I remember how to do it. It involves popping a few things. I need to go over here. You should see this birthday balloon. I'm supposed to shoot it, right? Wait, there's... Is that not how to do it? There's a... Okay, there's a secret sign. Hold on, I may have to... Oh, I think I need to get the keys first in here before doing it like that. I, th I think. barrier has opened. This air shaft will provide access to the generator's control terminal. I'm supposed to be able to destroy that balloon. I'm not sure why it's not letting me, but there are two more. One is right here. Well, I may have to pause and read up on this easter egg. Maybe I need to do the slayer gate first. Because I know I can pop those balloons. I just don't remember how. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, I think I have to do this. Let's do this real quick. This is one of my favorite Slayer Gates.
Man, I cut his shoulder off. Okay, we got the Empyrean key. Now I might be able to do the checkpoint. Let's double check. So there are three balloons. I need to pop all of them. This one is up here somewhere. Yeah. Why can't I pop these? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do a pause in the recording and double check why it's not letting me do this Easter egg. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I think what I need to do is load the checkpoint and then that should let me pop the balloons because the video guide I watched, he did it right after the Slayer Gate, which is where I am. Okay, just don't want to double check. Okay, I do have all the collectibles. And this secret is totally optional, I just want to do it. So, it's this balloon. There we go, now I can pop it. So, yeah, I just needed to reload that checkpoint, and now we can do this. So the second one is over here by this bus. The third one is over here. Secret found. There's cake with a blue skull on it. And the cake is fish themed, which is kind of silly. However, when we get this skull, this happens. Two tyrants spawn. And we haven't fought tyrants yet in the campaign. These guys are like the tankiest of tanky demons. And that's the Easter egg. You pop the balloons, you get the cake, and then two tyrants spawn, and that's it. That's the entire Easter egg. quick okay I got every one up down here I got everything on that let's check the upper area pretty sure I got every one up every single secret we are good to finish up the level <laughs> you it's so gross <laughs> Overloading. I have marked your exit portal. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go right now. Main generator overload. I repeat, main generator overload. Please proceed to the nearest emergency exit. This facility will self destruct shortly. Please save your work and walk calmly to the nearest exit. And that's the level. Goodbye, Super Nest. They're so gross. Ew. But we got everything done, 100%ed as always. I uh, had a couple of rough fights not being smart at this level, but that's really the thing with Doom Eternal is you gotta think a little more. I'm just kind of blindly shooting sometimes and not moving enough. I gotta move and I gotta take out people better. As I said at the beginning of the series, I'm still a little bit rusty, so 
I'm slowly getting back to how good I used to be at the game, which was a few months ago. And what did I get? Ooh, is that a Slayer skin? Wait, is that? Look at that. No, I want to see this. Where is it? Alright, we're going to use that next level, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, thank you for watching. This was Super Gornest. I will see you in the next episode of Doom Eternal. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.